Hi everyone, how are you all? Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I want to share with you guys about my experience of growing eyelashes. So to start with, I want to say that uh, any products that I will be mentioning in this video are not sponsored in any way. Whatever I buy, I buy from my own pocket. And whatever information I'm going to be sharing with you is only from my own experience. So to start with, I just want to say that originally my eyelashes uh, really short okay they sort of like downwards looking so they're not curled up in any way and I always dreamed of having longer eyelashes and if it's possible to be curled up a little bit that was my dream you know my sister on the other hand she always had like long eyelashes curled you know eyelashes and stuff and I was like why why you have it and I don't have it but anyway this is the reality so uh, about seven months ago, I started to research what can be done. I knew there are, I knew that um, there are a lot of serums exist out there, you know, for the lash grow, you know, and uh, some of them are really expensive. Some of them have side effects, and some of them have really good reviews, you know, that you can find on internet, you know, in Google, on some bloggers' websites, you know, or on YouTube. So when I looked at the prices and all of that and side effects, I thought like, oh my god, like which one to choose? So many of them there. And then I've seen some people were uh, sharing their experience of using castor oil. And I was like, okay, well, castor oil is not that bad. Although some people can have irritation from it, but it's cheaper, it's healthier, you know, and uh, people were saying they had really good results. So I thought to myself, okay, let's just try it. So I went to the chemist warehouse here in Australia and I bought this brand. I literally like got any custard oil <laughs> that day. I was not looking for a particular like brand name or a company. I think it cost uh, $10 this one, as I remember. So can you imagine like it was almost seven months ago and I still have more than half of the bottle. So like... It's very economic uh, purchase. So I've bought this castor oil and I thought, okay, I will be using it every single day um, during my night time. So I didn't want to use it during the daytime because once you apply it to your lashes up and down, you will see somehow the oil by your eyes. Like you will see a little bit of those like blurriness a little bit, you know, around your eye, which I didn't want to have it. But again, this is just my own uh, experience. This is why I chose to have this oil during the night time only, okay? And uh, I think it was after about a month or so, I found as well in one of the shops, you can find in Woolworths or Coles or even a pharmacy actually as well, this product. This one is by Maybelline. This is the Lash Sensational Boosting Serum, okay? And the full price of it, I think it varies from shop to shop, but usually it's between $23 to $25. I never ever pay the full price for this because literally like every few months the whole product shelf of Maybelline Cosmetics uh, would go down in half price or 40% down, you know, and things like that. So I usually pay for it like about 13, you know, 14, 15 dollars, but never full price. And if I buy it, I buy it like two and it lasts me like literally for a few months. Like um, this serum, I'll show you how it looks like out of the box. This is how it looks like. Um, so how many mils this one? This one is 5.3 mils. This serum lasts me for about three months if I use it every day. The brush looks like this. I'll show you like that. Okay. And you apply it on your lashes, you know, from the roots to the tips and on the line uh, above your lashes. Okay. Um, this serum did not give me any irritation whatsoever. So I was using this during the daytime and this during the nighttime. Okay. Castor oil has a lot of vitamins in it, which is uh, which are very good for the lash grow and also thickening the lashes. This one, on the other hand, are very good for moisturizing and providing all that nice moisture to your eyelashes um, during the daytime because hair grows when it's in sort of like a moist condition, you know what I mean? When it's not too dry. And also it has some other properties and um, ingredients in it, which I'm not going to be going through it because it's quite a big list. But if you Google it online, 
you can actually research what the ingredients are just to say that this serum is not something very miracle like uh, let's say like teas okay or some similar serums to that this one wouldn't give you results like um latisse you're not gonna see your eyelashes growing like really really long you know after months or two or even after three but this one affects the growth of your lashes in a positive way quite nicely if you do it in combination with castor oil again this is just my experience all what i wanted to give my lashes is just 24 7 care that would be there all the time. So this nighttime, this is daytime. Then after about, um, I think it was two months or so, I found uh, another girl on YouTube. She was sharing about her eyelash grow and she was using castor oil for many years. Oh boy, you should see her eyelashes. They are beautiful. But I think she has them genetically long and nice to start with. And then just the castor oil lengthen it a little bit and make it thick and healthy on the top of that as well but what i took as a consideration from her videos is that she actually advised to use castor oil not just on a lash but also to massage and put all around your eye area because this is nice prevention to wrinkles or to treat even existing wrinkles that we usually have here in these corners and it softens the skin and it's really good for the skin in general you know and then you can apply it a little bit to your eyebrows as well and this is what I started to do since then and now every time at night at night I apply a custard oil not just on my eyelashes but on this area as well uh, to protect my pillowcase because I do have nice <laughs> bed set that I love a lot and to protect it I sleep on a small hand towel okay this is just small advice to you guys if you want to have any stains from the oil on your pillowcases or even on a pillow itself underneath because it can go through just use a small towel to sleep on and uh, yeah and that should be all right okay from castor oil or from this serum here I did not have any irritation so just to advise you if you have a rotation from castor oil if it goes in your eyes you know i would advise you to take an earbud and just dip it into oil a little bit and just do the line above your lashes on the top only do not do like anywhere you know like near the eye area like that may allow some oil to go inside just you have to find for yourself i guess a safe way how to apply this product to avoid any irritation for me I can literally like put even like this sometimes I have some oil left in my finger and I would do this to my eyelashes just putting it up like this you know hoping that maybe they will start to grow like a little bit curlier and um, it doesn't give me any irritation anyway so this is how my lashes look like now I'll just show you okay they not extremely like big 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 as you would see from those people on youtube who have lattice you know and all those uh expanded grand whatever it's called i forgot all the names but yeah they're not as big as if you would use those serums but it's a great achievement for me like i'll try to show you here this is it okay i don't have a lot of mascara underneath i don't like generally to put a lot of mascara under my um like on my bottom eyelash line but i like it on the top this is just one coat of telescopic l'oreal this is one of my favorite mascaras okay if i use any mascara that would be um like with those fibes and stuff you know to give more length to the eyelashes it will be like really long and nice but today i just wanted to be fair to you guys and show you how it looks like with just one coat of mascara because i don't want to give you like false you know like sort of like image and also what i want to also advise to you uh do not use waterproof mascara because about a month or two ago like when i finished my six months period for my eyelash grow with uh, castor oil and that maybelline serum i had one of my um i had one of my mascaras that had uh false you know fibes in it on one side and then i had uh mascara on the other side it was by cover girl and it was waterproofed and i didn't pay attention that it was waterproof because i have so many mascaras that i bought like months ago and it's still 
pretty much as new and I didn't pay attention to that and I just wanted to see how my lashes would look like with these vibes in it and I applied it and oh boy I had so much of trouble just trying to wash off that bloody mascara it was terrible to wash off I literally like needed to do my eyes a few times and then after I washed it off I found that some of my lashes just fell out and I was so so sad so it took now almost two months since then I think my eyelashes would be even longer because you can see like this eye is a little bit shorter here because some of them fell out and I'm still waiting for them to grow back so my advice to you do not use waterproof mascaras please if you want to remain that beautiful effect that you will achieve do not use waterproof mascaras you don't need that because all of that will just go down to zero and uh, also what i wanted to say that castor oil helps to sort of like lengthen and prolong that period of your eyelash grow um, that our lash uh, that our lashes have like all our hair in our body including our lashes have a growth cycle that consists of three stages so the middle stage of the growth uh, usually last for up to a few months and that stage is can stay a little bit longer with the help of certain serums and also uh, castor oil so if you apply this all the time you can keep and maintain your eyelashes longer for longer time so what i want to say is that during the six months that i was uh, given to grow my uh, eyelashes with castor oil i've noticed that with every month my lashes were growing longer longer and longer and they were not becoming shorter you know they were still falling out but they were not going back again to the size that i used to be when i just started that the, my journey in the beginning of the six months okay so i can definitely say that castor oil helps to prolong that growing stage and keep it longer for your eyelashes okay i don't know what would happen if you would stop probably i guess after months or two your eyelashes would go down some of the people uh said that uh once they've reached the size that they wanted the lengths of the eyelashes that they wanted by using custard oil they would go from everyday use to about like two to three days per week to just maintain the results but for me because i like it on my skin at night and i use it after i apply the serums and stuff i like to actually use it every day also while i'm mentioning serums if you have any serums that you use around your eye area you know like uh, hyaluronic acid or coffee you know or peptides and stuff like that just make sure that if you apply it around your eye give it few minutes to observe by the skin so when you apply oil you know you wouldn't mix it with that serum and that would probably decrease the effectiveness of the oil so just give it some time to be observed by the skin and then apply oil and also um, this is something away from the eyelash growth this is just for the skincare the molecules of the oils are usually bigger than the molecules of the serums so if you go into order of what to apply after what usually people recommend that first you apply serums and then oils and uh yeah so at the moment i'm happy with the results although i would be probably considering one day maybe to try on the top of what i have now as well maybe some expensive serum to see if it works and if my lashes can grow even longer because what i've noticed now that after all these months of my eyelash growth uh, grow a journey i've noticed that my eyelashes are not growing anymore longer like it seems like it's sort of like reached the longest stage that it could be reached with castor oil this is why i may consider in the future to try um some type of different serum you know maybe something that even expensive you know see if it can work and if my lashes can even become even more longer so yeah but if i find something that i will decide to go with and purchase i will keep you updated and maybe I will make a small video that I will post right away online as a start of the journey and then we'll keep you updated. So yeah, at the moment, as I said, I'm really happy. It's better than I had before and uh, very healthy for my skin and for my eyelashes. So um, yeah, thank you for watching this video, guys. I'll see you in my next ones. Bye.
hi everyone how are you all so now it's been four months and probably a week or something like that you see i have a little bit of white cast in my face because i'm going to go out now and i have a little bit of sunscreen applied to my skin just a few minutes ago so that sort of sheer will come out soon or will be observed by my skin but um today i wanted to do an update on my lashes so these are my lashes now hold on i'll just try to focus and come out a little bit more to the light for you guys so these are my lashes now okay i don't have any um uh, mascara on it I just woke up, I literally cleaned my face, I had a shower, you know, and then I applied my sunscreen. And uh, yeah, so this is it. After four months, okay. I really like the results, really. Um, if you want, I can put mascara on it and show you how that looks like with mascara as well. You know, although I was not really planning to put it today, to be honest because i find that mascara actually um it, it irritates my eyes so i don't use it too often like on very special occasions you know even when i film my youtube videos you I, you probably see me like i use mascara very very rarely you know and um yeah but with mascara it will look even longer what i also like so far it's been almost now four months and a week or so and uh, my lashes are so nice and soft like literally when you touch it it's so nice and soft and it's uh, a lot of them actually like i can see it's so many of them and they became dark as well and these are my eyebrows so i do apply um uh, castor oil on my brows as well and this is how it is now it's really full the color is a little bit darker than usual like in general my hair has the natural tone to it is sort of like a brownish and then with a little bit of ash gray to it and um, my eyebrows before were much lighter so i don't have any product on my eyebrows okay and um yeah so i just trim like um i don't trim it sorry i plug just here a little bit i never trim my eyebrows this is its length as you can see i never cut it never trim it you know i never reduce the length here like i only plug here this spot you know and the reason why i plug it is that because when i was 16 i started to plug my eyebrows and then once you start to plug it sometimes you will have some hair growing a little bit lower then it would naturally you know so once you went that pathway sort of then you have to maintain it but if i would never ever touch my eyebrows i probably would leave it the way it is and never you know ever plug it in my life you know i love the natural look you know but uh yeah since i've done it earlier you know when i was 16 now i have to sort of like maintain that beautiful curve line if you can call it um so yeah guys so these are the updates next time i will come back when it will be five months and maybe a week to be fair so it could be like after a month's time and then we will sum it up at six months okay guys so this is how it is with mascara okay i'm using l'oreal telescopic again and this is just one coat just going to there you go so this is one coat you can see from the side that my eyelash is much longer than the months before okay you can see it okay um l'oreal telescopic mascara doesn't have any false fibers in it so it doesn't affect or increase the length of my eyelashes i just apply one coat for you of clear mascara product so you could see the real length of it because what i've noticed with uh custard oil custard oil is that um, when it affects my eyelashes in terms of growth the ages of my lashes became lighter so i can see it with my eyes if i like really like pay attention to it i can see that the ages are growing and my lashes are becoming longer but the ages are lighter in color this is why when i film my other videos like for nursing or my eye or my vlogs you know live vlogs i don't usually wear any makeup you know and you won't see any difference really unless i point it out for you like that and unless i put the mascara on and then you can actually see yes like something is going on there but uh yeah so 
This is it now guys. I'm really really happy with the results. I don't usually apply mascara to my bottom eyelashes but those are growing as well. I just don't like the look of like, like a spider eyes so I only applied one coat on the top and this is how I usually would go out. Like I do have some mascaras at home with fibers you know um, that would probably make it even longer but uh, maybe I can maybe I can show it to you next time. Um, yeah, and still no product on my eyebrows. This is how I go out usually just my eyebrows like this and a little bit of mascara if I do wear one Okay, so yeah, I'll see you now in another one month's time Hey everyone, so today I think it's month five or six I'm not sure to be honest because I've lost I've been filming this for quite a long time now like going months into months time um so yeah it should be about five or six you know to make sure i have to go back on a computer or my files that are already moved from my memory card from my camera to actually see which one it is exactly um so i will be filming now another video for uh my nursing series for my youtube channel and uh i've put some mascara on my um eyelashes and i thought okay i'm going to make sort of like one of the conclusion or final videos for my eyelash grow it took me almost half a year now as i said and i've been applying this custard oil um constantly every night and this how my eyelashes look like now okay this is just one coat of mascara okay um and uh yeah so this is how it looks like i did not use any curler okay my eyelashes are very straight and by nature they're not just straight but they sort of like looking down so um yeah so I think if I would apply a curler, it will look much better. Excuse my cat, he's just meowing <laughs> on the floor there. Um, so yeah, this is how it is now. I'm really pleased with the results. Although, as I mentioned before in my other videos, that um, to see, for me personally, the growth on my eyelashes, I have to apply mascara because for some reason, the tips of my lashes grow lighter since I started to apply castor oil on it and you can't see it on the videos to be honest if you would come and meet me in person and stand beside me like close to me you will see the ages or the tips of my eyelashes that there is a progress there you know but on the videos it's really hard for you guys to see unless I actually apply mascara and then you can see you know so um yeah so i think that if i would use like um a false fiber lash you know mascara or something like that it would make it even longer um and uh yeah so i'll show you down okay and up so um yeah so i'm really pleased with the results i was applying to my brows as well i was continuing to do both so I basically and do around my eye as usual and on the eyebrow as well and um, yeah so I guess that's the final result for now I will be continuing maintaining my eyelashes this way and keep going applying castor oil on on it every night because I found benefits not only in my eyelash grow and my eyebrows also but also in my skin around my eye area you know I really really like it and uh, yeah, so I'll see you in my next videos.